Hi, I'm Nick Kramer of Global Fixed Income Research at Standard & Poor's. After showing signs of concern amid geopolitical events and anticipated interest rate hikes, bond investors reversed July's selling trend to show increased demand for corporate bonds in August. Many market participants conveyed a sense that the Federal Reserve wouldn't likely raise rates in the near future after comments made at their ja annual Jackson Hole meeting in the middle of the month, while also betting that the European Central Bank would only become more accommodative in the near future. As a result, financial markets in the U.S. saw very robust growth over the course of the month, with the S&P 500 index returning a whopping 3.8 percent in August. The heady returns of the S&P 500 in August has managed to push its 2014 return to just under 8.8 percent, finally surpassing investment-grade bonds in the year to date. Investment-grade bonds started out last month on strong footing, returning nearly four-tenths of a percent on the first of the month, followed by similar spurts two weeks later. Conversely, speculative-grade bonds saw marked losses in the first two business days of the month, but posted 19 straight days of gains afterwards, albeit at a more moderate pace. Ultimately, U.S. corporate bonds would see impressive returns in August, but would still trail equities. Through August 31st, investment-grade bonds have returned 8.34 percent for the year to date, while speculative-grade bonds are trailing further behind, though still at a healthy 5.76 percent pace. All rating categories saw gains in August, with returns roughly correlated with rating level. The overall investment grade segment saw a return of 1.7 percent, with the single A rating category seeing the highest return of 1.9 percent. This month's performance has put the single A category into the lead as the rating with the highest year-to-date return, showing a stellar gain of 8.6 percent through August 31st. Among speculative grade categories, the gains were smaller, but the double B category still managed to return 1.36 bringing its year-to-date return up to 5.8 percent. Over the course of August, bond yields on investment-grade industrials and 10-year treasuries traveled a pronounced decline. This last month's decline has pushed the yield on AAA industrial bonds down to 3 percent and that on B industrials to just below 4 percent. All investment-grade rating categories industrial bond yields are now at their lowest levels thus far in 2014. Speculative-grade industrials and five-year treasuries also saw marked declines in their yields during August, but only after experiencing sharp increases in the first two days of the month. The yield on B plus rated industrial bonds is now only two basis points above that of B industrials, while the yield on B industrial bonds could possibly fall below 6 percent given its current downward momentum. Given July's bond losses were the first in 10 and 6 months for speculative grade and investment grade bonds respectively, a correction was not all that unusual. However, the strong gains seen in August were especially noteworthy as they were generally the second highest monthly returns thus far in 2014. On the other hand, new issuance in the month was down markedly, with investment grade bonds repeating July's historically weaker total and speculative grade bonds seeing their lowest monthly amount since August 2011 when the U.S. was downgraded. With these mixed signals present in the bond market today, it may be wise to approach with cautious optimism.